instability in the global energy markets. Oil prices rising, then falling, then rising again. Climate change. Depletion of our energy resources. In these uncertain, unstable times, one university is looking toward the future to lead our nation into a new energy economy. With a history of technological research and innovation that dates to the 1870s, Missouri University of Science and Technology is poised to lead the nation in energy research and development. I've always considered this university to be a national treasure. We have uh, such a focus on engineering and science. And now with this economic crisis that the world is facing, largely brought on uh, because of energy and the environment, uh, we are just positioned to be part of the solution to the problems. While others dream about a future of clean, renewable energy, Missouri s and is already leading the way by developing the state's first hydrogen fueling station, powering the shuttle buses that transport students to and from class, and through the s and Solar Village, a neighborhood of three and soon to be four solar-powered homes where students live, study, and actually sell their excess energy back to the local utility company. Here at Missouri s and we really have all the players for the energy system. Um, we have people who are working you know, in electrical engineering, looking at certainly the transportation system. We have people in mining who are looking at the coal sector. We have people in nuclear engineering who are looking at the nuclear energy sector. We have people in chemistry who are working on the hydrogen sector. I mean, that's what makes Missouri s and unique. The country and the world is going to depend on technologically educated individuals if we're to survive in the next century. And we can deliver the goods in energy while being very concerned about our environment and educating technologically literate citizens. And this is what the world needs now. One fact is clear. States that don't invest in their technological universities are going to be left behind. Partnering with Missouri manufacturers, communities, energy companies, and other universities, Missouri s and is already making a difference. s and researchers are working with the City of Kansas City, Kansas City Power and & Light, and COCAM America to show the world that plug-in electric vehicles are not just a distant dream, but a present-day reality. Lithium-ion batteries made by COCAM, a manufacturer based in Lee's Summit, Missouri, will soon power a fleet of plug-in electric vehicles for the city of Kansas City. Uh, COCAM and Missouri s and has uh, basically formed a, a, a joint uh, project that we are going to be putting electric vehicles into Kansas City, working with the university and the Missouri uh, Transportation Institute COCAM will actually use lithium polymer batteries on electric vehicles that will be powering electric cars in downtown Kansas City. We jumped at the chance. Uh, battery technology has always been the struggle with uh, transportation, you know, electrifying the transportation. You know, if you don't have overhead wires, you've got to have good batteries, and that's always been the holdback with uh, the, the problem, the challenge with electric vehicles. So. Um, to work with Missouri s and and to work with COCAM on this uh, really state-of-the-art battery. It's an exciting time. Plug-in electric vehicles, that is the future. And working together, we are going to set up Kansas City and then the state of Missouri to produce plug-in electric vehicles. That is the direction we're moving in, that we will be a state that is a leader in, in not just the battery technology, but in the new vehicle technology. That's what I see coming, and that Missouri s and gets to play a part and a role in moving that technology forward. s and researchers like Paul Nam are playing a pivotal role in moving another set of technologies forward to lessen our dependence on foreign oil. Working with Lincoln University and two Missouri energy cooperatives, Professor Nam is developing ways to capture the carbon dioxide emissions from power plants to help grow algae, 
The algae, in turn, can be used to develop a biofuel to provide energy resources for tomorrow. Algae could become a valuable alternative to current biofuels while reducing carbon emissions from electrical power plants. The plug-in electric vehicle project in Kansas City and the oil from algae experiment in central Missouri showcase just two of the many facets of Missouri s and energy research. Here, world-renowned faculty investigate every aspect of energy, from nuclear and clean coal technology to the future of the North American power grid. With a broad array of engineering, science, and technology disciplines, Missouri s and has all the expertise in place to provide the energy solutions for our nation's future. So we are uniquely positioned to uh, deal with the, uh, the energy crisis the world is facing, while at the same time paying attention to the environmental consequences of uh, what we do in the world. If we can take the leadership and in innovation, especially as it comes to the uh, next generation of energy sources, we will continue to have a thriving economy in this country. And now is the time to invest in this great undertaking. One university looking toward the future. Missouri University of Science and Technology